Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. I do appreciate you stopping by. Guys, today's beer comes from Pariah Brewing Company. These guys are out in San Diego. Uh, this was sent to me from the brewery by Krista and Brian, the owner slash brewers there. Uh, they have sent me some beers before. They sent me another little small uh, beer mail package. So we're going to start off. This is their My Cat from Hell's which is a Hell's Lager, Munich Lager. Uh, kind of a low ABV, a 5 percenter here. Since it's 19 IBUs on uh, untapped, uh, I could not find it at all on Beer Advocate. So I don't know if it's a new release or whatever, but it was not listed on Beer Advocate whatsoever. So I guess they're out of the game on this one. Uh, I do want to thank uh, Krista and Brian for uh, sending me this and let me try it. Guys, I don't buy a lot of lagers anymore. I drank lagers for seems like a thousand years, thirty years plus, uh, and those beers to me, just me, uh, doesn't have don't have enough taste. Uh, but if you're into the macros, this would probably be something that you could get into with a lot better ingredients than what those guys at uh, Bud Miller Coors uh, uh, put into their beer. So uh, I'm pretty sure it is just straight up quality ingredients here guys so uh, you people out in San Diego can probably swing by the brewery and pick this up I don't know they haven't told me whether they distribute or not uh, this one has a sticker on the bottom of the can it says 6418 so this one was put in the can on June the 4th of 2018 uh, today is July the 10th so just a tad over a month old in the can so, but like I said, I don't buy a lot of these beers, guys, uh, especially these five percenters. Uh, I had one of my subscribers say, oh, if he just likes the big alcohol beers, he's an alcoholic. Eh, call me what you will, I've been called worse. Uh, I don't know if drinking three beers a day classifies as an alcoholic, but, yeah, whatever. Whatever blows your hair back, dude. All right, let's get into this one. I don't want it to be a super long video. Uh, we've got the IBU, we've got the ABV, we got the canned all day, so we got all three bits of information. The commercial description here on Untap says, Munich style hails brewed with, I can't hardly read this damn laptop unless it's in specifically the right angle. Doughy German Pilsner malt and Czech size hops created on... This thing's getting so bad to read. I'm on my probably have to throw this thing in the garbage can. Uh, I can't read it, guys. In honor of ridiculously cute but perpetuous troublemaker of a cat named Salem. Well, Salem, that's the city I live in. But they have a cat named Salem, so there must be a handful too that they named this beer after it. Uh, my cat from hells. So uh, that's it, guys. First beer of the day for me. Uh, let's pop the top on this big 16-ounce can and get it into the glass. And while I'm pouring it, I'll tell you the food pairing. Cuisine is German, of course. Cheese is a buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, uh, Swiss. It says general, salad, meat, pork, fish, shellfish, glass wire, flute, pilsner glass, or polka. I've got my uh, lager glass, if you will. It says not recommended for the salad rings. So uh, if you want to drink this, you know fairly fresh here guys and this is a fairly big glass so it's made for a 16 ounce pour and it's got a great big wide rim on the top of it so I should be able to get my nose over in there so we got the whole thing over in there looks pretty typical of a uh, lager 
uh, nice golden color. It didn't pour much of a head, and I didn't want it to. I poured it kind of easy. I didn't want a ten finger the head because I wanted to try to get all the beer in the glass on the first pour. Uh, looks very typical. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Let's get it to the nose. Guys, got some maltiness. I got some grassy graininess that all lagers just about have. And uh, definitely the presence of some noble hops there, some uh, European hops, if you will. Saws is what they say here. Uh, also, you can include uh, Kent Goldings, uh, Tetanang. There are a lot of European hops that have more of a floral, herbal, earthy uh, aroma uh, as opposed to uh, what goes in the uh, the ales that we love so much, the IPAs and double IPAs. Uh, the piney, grapefruity, pineapple, tropical fruit notes. So let's go ahead and get it to the lips. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cresta and Brian. I do appreciate it. A nice, crisp, refreshing lager. No off-putting notes. They don't get any alcohol whatsoever on the taste. Fairly typical of a good quality lager. Something that's made with quality ingredients. No adjuncts or rice or corn or anything like that that they're going to throw in it uh, to save money. So, decent beer. A nice, it's 90 degrees out there today, guys. So, uh, a nice, crisp, refreshing. Uh, and it being 5%, you could have several of these and not be too inebriated. So, uh, good summertime beer. Decent beer, guys. It, it really is. So, let me sip on this and uh, let her have some. And we'll uh, come back and do the final grade and chug on this one. Alright, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Uh, decent beer, guys. Not my cup of tea. Probably not something that I would pick up. But it'd be a great transitional beer to get, if you're a macro lager drinker to get you into drinking something with a little more taste and made out of better ingredients, guys. So, uh, very enjoyable, guys. Uh, let's do the final chug here. Very crisp, refreshing beer. No doubt about it. And guys, uh, you if you've had this, you may say, oh, that's the best lager I've ever had. And it, it may be. It all depends on where your taste is your, and what you want to drink and what you're used to drinking. Uh, to me, guys, uh, I think it's a very well-made beer. Uh, and I'm going to probably go against the grade uh, a little bit, but uh, I can't think of a single reason if you're into this style of beer uh, that you wouldn't think this is a, a tasty beer. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's world-class or outstanding or anything like that, but I do think it's a well-made beer. So... Uh, a minus for me on this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to give this one uh, 92. That's where I'm going to put it. Definitely worth picking up if you're into this style of beer. Very well made. So, once again, Chris and Brian, thanks again for sending it to me. Let me try it. Very refreshing beer. Good job. Uh, like I told you, Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed. So, uh, we're running over to Untapped for our final check in, and they have 3.64, which is in their B range. Yeah. I think it's better than that, but I understand why these guys, a lot of people that comment and, and do reviews and, and, and post on either Beer Advocate or Untapped or, or like me, my, like myself, they drank uh, quite a few different varieties and they like stuff that has a lot bigger, bolder taste and aroma like the IPAs and the double IPAs and stuff like that. So uh, I, that's why a lot of times you'll see beers like this have grades uh, a little lower on those sites because it just didn't blow their hair back or their socks off. So that's the reason for it guys. But eh, I try to be as honest as I can here. Uh, like I said, not something that I would buy, but I still think it's an A beer guys. Uh, just doesn't have quite the ABV in the taste that this guy is looking for. I'm more into the ales and stouts and, and uh, some of the big, bigger, bolder taste and aroma beers. So, And we do have uh, uh, some of those from these guys too that we're going to be doing so we might even do a couple back to back and uh, see how that works so if you've had this one from uh, Pride Brewing 
this is their My Cat from Hells, uh, which is a Hells Lager. Uh, let me know what you think until we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.